Hi guys, this is Abdullah from Scientific Accent and in this video we'll learn together how to read any word no matter how hard it is. So in order to read any word we need to answer three questions. Number one, how many syllables do I have? Number two, which syllable is stressed? And number three, what are the vowels that I have in this word? So let's go back to question number one. What is a syllable. So a syllable is part of the word having one vowel sound. Again, a syllable is part of the word having one vowel sound. So for example, in the word cat, how many syllables do I have? One. In the word about, how many syllables do I have? Two. About. So a vowel could be a syllable. Just one vowel could be a syllable, which is a. Uh. A uh is a syllable about is a syllable. In the word banana, how many syllables do I have? Three. B -na -na. Three syllables. So this is the first question you need to answer before trying to read any word. How many syllables do I have in this word? Okay, the second question is which syllable is stressed? This is very important. Syllable stress is the emphasis given to a specific syllable. In other words, when you make the syllable long and loud, that means you're stressing that syllable. For example, when you say banana, 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 which syllable is stressed here? Number two, na. I give it all the energy. Banana. I will link a playlist explaining all uh, the rules you need to know about the syllable stress in the description right below. Go check it and learn how can you stress a syllable and all the rules for stressing uh, syllables. Okay, and the third question is what are the vowels that they have in this word? This is really, really important. We have 15 main vowel sounds in American English. They are very, very important. In the upcoming videos, I will try my best to explain them to you. So let's take an example and see how can we apply these uh, three questions to make sure that we're pronouncing the word correctly. Let's take the word tuberculosis. This is kind of a hard word, so let's try to break it down and see uh, how can we pronounce it. So first question is, how many syllables do I have in this word? Tuberculosis. Tuberculosis. How many syllables do I have in this word? Five. I have five syllables. Tuberculosis. So here I have five syllables. When you check the dictionary, I, I recommend that you check Cambridge Dictionary. You're gonna find that they're using a dot or a point to separate every uh, syllable. So you're gonna find a dot between every syllable. So tuberculosis, I have five syllables. Okay, very good. Which, uh, question number two, which syllable is stressed? Here I have two, st two stresses. I have primary stress, I have secondary stress. Because it's a long word, so we have two stresses. So I'm, I say tuberculosis. So ber, this, this syllable has secondary stress. And lo has the primary stress. So we have something like, um, like, a, a, like a comma. This is the sign for the secondary stress, as we see here. And the apostrophe, this is the accent or the sign for the primary stress. So here I stress two syllables, ber and lo, tuberculosis. So in my head, I have five syllables. I'm gonna stress two of them, ber and lo. Very good, okay. Now, what are the vowels that I have? Let's see. I have the first syllable is t. So I, the vowel sound that I have here is o, uh, o. Uh. So here I need to focus on two things. Number one, the jaw is relaxed, like this, and your lips are slightly rounded, like this, o, uh, o, uh, as in book, good, o, uh, t, t, and it's unstressed, so it will be short. So any vowel sound could be stressed or unstressed. When it's stressed, it's long. When it's unstressed, it's short. So this is unstressed syllable, so it's t, o, uh, t. Very good. Number two, I have ber. I have er sound. Er, 
as in bird, as in girl. Okay, here I have four things I need to focus on. Number one, jaw is slightly dropped. Relax your jaw. Number two, lips are rounded like this. Number three, your tongue will point here, er, er, and make sure that the sides of the tongue are touching the upper teeth, here. So you say, er. Number four, blow air, but don't move anything in your mouth. So you say, er, er, to, burr, to burr, o, er, to, burr, to burr. Very good. Okay. Syllable number three is k, k, k. I have the k sound. I have uh, the y sound. Then I have a schwa, which is a. So what is the schwa? The schwa is a neutral sound. It's the shortest sound that we have in English, and it's the most common sound in English. It is neutral, so I say a, a. My muscles are relaxed. My jaw is not closed, is not opened, uh, is not dropped. So I say, uh, uh. This is the schwa, uh, and it's very short. So I say, kya, kya, kya. Not kya, not kye, not kyu, kya. So I have to, bur, kya, kya, kya. That's number three. Very good. Let's go for syllable number four. Number four. I have low, low. What is the vowel sound that they have here? I have O sound. O as in go, as in boat. So here I need to focus on three things. Number one, when you're pronouncing the O sound, focus on the first thing is your lips are rounded. So you do like this. Number two, open and close your mouth like this. But don't relax your lips. Don't do like this. Why? Because when you relax your lips and you open your mouth, the sound changes. So instead of saying oh, you say ow, oh, ow. Oh. But I don't want ow. Oh. I want oh, ow, oh, ow. Oh. So as you see, when I open my mouth, I need to make sure that my lips are rounded. Very good. So, number one, lips are rounded. Number two, open and close your mouth, but don't relax your lips. And number three, focus on the O at the end. Oh, oh. Of course, when we're practicing in the beginning, we really exaggerate. So I say, oh, low, low. And this is a little stressed, so I'll give it all the energy. So I say, to, ber, kye, low, low. This syllable has primar the primary stress, so I give it all the energy. Tuberculo, tuberculo, tuberculo. Good. And the last syllable that we have is the uh, cis. Tuberculosis, tuberculosis, cis. So here I have the vowel sound that they have in this syllable is the i as in sit. So this is a tense sound and it's a, it's a short sound. Try not to drop your jaw uh, when you're pronouncing the sound. You say i, not a, i, as in sit, as in six. So I don't say set, this is the e. No, this is i. I say i, sis, sis, tuberculosis, tuberculosis. So now you have five parts. You know which one is long, which one is short. You have the second syllable, it has the secondary stress, and the fourth syllable has a primary stress. So you say tuberculosis. Tuberculosis. So this is how you practice. You answer three questions. Number one, how many syllables do I have in this word? Number two, uh, which syllable is stressed? In this case, I have two um, syllables that are stressed. One has uh, secondary stress and the other one has the primary stress. So I have two types of stresses, primary and I have secondary. I use them with the long words. And number three, what are the vowels that I have in this word? So I have five parts, tuberculosis, tuberculosis. 
I state um, and repeat that way very slowly for at least 300 times or 400 times. Yes, that is not a lot because this is a hard word. I have like five or six rules only in this word. So when you invest so much time practicing this word, this word will not only be easy for you, but all the other words that has the same sounds will be easy also for you. So it is not about the quantity of the practicing, but it's about the quality of the practicing. So you need to not only to work hard, but to work smart. So one last time, tuberculosis. Tuberculosis. Okay. So I hope that was helpful for you. If you have any questions, any lessons that are hard for you or any other words that are kind of hard for you, leave them in the comment section below and we will try to answer these questions in the upcoming videos. Uh, that's it for today. Thank you so much and I'll see you next video.